Welcome to Balor Other World, and we're going to be bringing you the stories of Halloween. Where better to start than at the very gateway to hell? We're going to tell you tales of the Morrigan and many mythological creatures who are said to emerge from this place behind me. What are you waiting for? Let's go! This portal leads to the realm of monsters. It is a place of enormous creatures who are said to become even more enhanced when they cross over into our world. The gates opened wide every Samhain or Halloween as you know it today. What we do know is a gate was put in with an enormous door to seal what was on the other side. This gate has been removed. The door is gone and anything can pass through. Christians have named it the Gates of Hell. Hey! Where are you people going? There's no safety out there. Get back. We're not finished. We're far from done. You are about to enter the cave of the Morrigan. Now you might wonder why we are here. This is not just the cave which births Queen Maeve. It is the home of the Morrigan, the god of war and battle in Ireland. There are so many mysteries hidden in this place. I'd like to tell you, poor traveller, about the name as I'm sure you've been wondering, Cave of Cats. It comes from the three wild cats which emerged from this location many, many years ago. There was a great disagreement between three of the heroes in Ireland, one of whom was Cú Cullen, of course. So in order to overcome this, they sought out Maeve and Alil as brokers of peace. But while they were there, the trickster who set them on this battle between them, he elected to remove from the other world three ferocious wild cats which sprung up and they sought to tear these men asunder. Two of the great warriors chose to flee while Cú Cullen managed to tame the beasts, thus ending any dispute between them and establishing Cú Cullen as the great leader. Now it isn't the only story about this cave because of course as I've mentioned Maeve had her palaces above it and any king of Connacht had to enter these the spaces beneath man in order to show their connection to the earth and the ground which will eventually claim us all. And another thing I'll tell you the story of Mira. He was a nobody. He wasn't important. He was bringing a corpse of a hanged man for a drink across the country. And on his return, he found all of the lands above us destroyed, devastated by war and battle. Now, he did see a few people passing down into this cave hooded figures, and he followed them. He followed them. Imagine the bravery of a man, having seen his entire place, all of his family and friends crushed and destroyed, to have the bravery. What are you doing? There is no backwards. There is only moving forwards. You can listen to my tales if you like, or you can wallow in darkness and listen to every step as we inch closer to the morning. It's your choice. So, if you will allow me to continue, Mira ventured after the figures into the other world. After, 
after many grievances and much strife in the other world, he married a fairy. And through his love of his wife and her love of him, he discovered that what he had witnessed was an illusion. It was a premonition of what was to come. Queen Maeve was still alive and well, as were all of the people of Connacht. But the fairies were marching closer. They wanted to enslave them. They saw them as nothing more than cattle. Racing back to the cave, he spoke to Queen Maeve and her husband, King Alil, and told them to send their armies and their most powerful sorcerers to this gate to fight for mankind. And as you can see, they succeeded and sealed the gate behind them, protecting us. We have heard that the Morrigan continues to reside in these halls, traveling between worlds, always intrigued and obsessed with battle and warfare. The Morrigan dreams, oh, dreams of flight. The Morrigan sees with another sight. The Morrigan builds with flesh and bone, and the Morrigan fills an empty throne. The Morrigan fills an empty throne. The Morrigan builds with flesh and bone. The Morrigan sees with another sight, and the Morrigan dreams old dreams of flight. The Morrigan knows your time and place. The Morrigan shows a shifted face. The Morrigan stands behind your skill. And the Morrigan sows and reaps at will. The Morrigan sows and reaps at will. The Morrigan stands behind your skill. The Morrigan shows a shifting face. The Morrigan knows your time and place. The Morrigan chooses when to rise The Morrigan views without a eyes The Morrigan sees with another sight And the Morrigan dreams old dreams of flight The Morrigan dreams old dreams of flight The Morrigan sees with another sight The Morrigan views without a eyes The Morrigan chooses This cave is the home of the Morrigan, a very powerful and important creature who has not wished anyone to get in here. She wants us gone, she wants us to leave. She only needs Maeve. Maeve is her connection to the human world. She is looking for her now and she wants someone. We must go! Go! Oh!